Welcome crafters, Andy is Mo here and I'm here with Abla today, one of the trusted on the server and we're here with Let's Build a Modern House episode 6. This is where we got to last time, my word, there's more glass in this place and you can shake a stick at, that's for sure. Um, yeah, we are still planning out some of the house, still uh, some walls to build, still got a window to put in there, that is a study in there, I want in the window just the same as that one. I thought I was going to do that off camera, I think I forgot, but hey, you guys, I need to say thank you. This is the dining room, by the way. Thank you for smashing that like button, you guys have been amazing on this series, so thank you very much for smashing that like button, very much appreciated. Speeding on by the kitchen into the playroom here, let me dig out some light and I'll take off shaders in a minute as well so you guys can see what I am doing. Um, let's grab some stairs, because we're going to do something fancy here, this is the playroom where you play, but we're going to launch these stairs straight up through the garage wall here, and I've got Avla to help me today to build, and he is a very, very good builder, and you can just see his little blue body there building away. We're going to make a roof garden on top of this place, because you guys have been putting in some comments, like this one from Damari Maze. Make the garages fancy, please, Damari Maze. I'm sure that's how you pronounce your, your name, but yeah, absolutely. We're going to make the garages fancy for you. I'm banned, says Abla. Oh, Abla got banned from the TeamSpeak we were communicating in when we were building this today, but I was like, those guys in the TeamSpeak are having a bubble bath laugh. I mean, they're having a bubble bath with a giraffe, as far as I'm concerned, because we just jumped in this little TeamSpeak that I'd forgotten to pay for, so somebody else took it over, and... Yeah, they banned me and Abla as we were building. Um, never mind. I, I will. I will. I don't know. I'll maybe get a mumble instead of a team speak. I think I've got a mumble. Anyway, um, I'll stop mumbling and get on with the building in it. Yeah. So this is a little entrance here um, from the playroom into this part of the build, which is going to be the playroom. So people, I think it's cool. It's like a, a private garden for the kids in the house, right? Because there's lots of bedrooms, and it's kind of kids' bedrooms in this place. It's a family house, I guess. Family modern house we are building. It's going to seal in that window here, because it was too close to that. But so, a little wooden entrance. I like that. It seems to work out pretty well. Um, and we've got grass. So, yeah. Hey, by the way, hit that subscribe button, top left, um, that I'm telling you about. Because if you don't subscribe, you might miss one of my videos. And we're on episode 6 of this epic house. And um, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, it's, it's hard work building it, um, but Abla was able to go through some ideas, which is why... Um, that's the shaders off, by the way. <laughs> now that you can actually see what I'm doing, that's the shaders off. Um, and I'm hunting about for a little half slab here. Yeah, Ab and I, uh, <clears throat> we, we, we tried some ideas out with the garage and then round to the bedrooms as well. And what you're seeing is what we've come up with. Um... I think we need a door in here, right? We need some sort of sliding door. So I'm going to put glass there. Boom. Now, while I'm building, um, Abla is busy. So we're going to see what he's been doing in just a few seconds as well. Need some quartzy in here just for the the floor. I think Abla is below me. He's working on... Yeah, he's working on... You can see there. He's working on these doors, which is great. And someone's watching as well. <laughs> We've got the Steve Bauer... The Stevig Bauer all the way from Holland, and he's helping with the road. Um, the whole build's a bit of a, a mess in terms of landscaping. We'll probably uh, just do the landscaping and so on off camera. I want to concentrate on placing blocks and as many blocks as possible on camera for you guys to see in this modern house. Let's build. I'm trying to keep creative Minecraft alive, you know? I don't feel that enough, enough people are, are building in creative Minecraft anymore. You know, playing this weird many games and so on, but I think this is fun. Making a house is still fun in Minecraft, and I'm going to keep doing it for as long as I can. Um, so, um, putting shaders back on, what do you think? I think these look brilliant, and a quick jump cut there. Um, we need some light on the inside of this place, so I'm going to leave the roof lighting there to Abla, and I think he made the, the wall double thick as well. Derp Sharp, I bought, by the way, I bought a two-foot gummy worm and wanted to share it with me. Guys, thanks for your comments. I like all your comments, even, like, weird ones from um, Derp Shark about his gummy worm that's 
yeah okay um weird funny bizarre comments might make it into my video i suppose so stick something down and if you want to see something built um i'm just putting on a layer of snow there by the way just you, very hard to see on the video but it just increases the layer of snow by one thin tiny snow layer um yeah so that's the garden and there's our little windows and we've got a sneaky window to put in here what was i saying oh yeah if you want something built um just put it in the, in the in the comment as a suggestion and i tell you what if someone steals your suggestion and suggests it before you just suggest it again if i see like five people suggesting something it's highly likely i'm going to include it in the build right this whole corner needs to be fixed Okay, a little bit of world that it speeded up there and I've got rid of some of the water because it's going to create a bit of space this is the guest room in there that you can see that space up there is a the guest room and then this green section here is lots and lots of little bedrooms probably children's bedrooms teenagers bedrooms um, and so on and, and further guests but um, I've mapped them all out in green and there's little ensuite toilets in every single um, bedroom so every bedroom's got its own bathroom i thought two of the bedrooms have got a shared bathroom and two of them that's the master bedroom there with the big blue bed and what i want to do since i'm making a double a double sandstone wall on the on the first wall as you come into the bedrooms it's double sandstone i'm going to just select all that and do slash slash move one and it just moves the bedrooms out by one block so i retain the overall size of the bedrooms as well so i think that's pretty important oh md victoria good comment you should let other people furnish this house nearly missed your comment there md victoria that's a really nice idea we've got such good players on this server just making this into snow um and i'm going to build up some of these walls as well um i think i'm going to take orange but yeah victoria um other builders on the server i think i'm going to get them to furnish some of these bedrooms here so we've got four of these children's bedrooms and i think i'm going to let four of the builders on the server furnish those so if you're a builder on the server you can ask me if you want to do one of those bedrooms that we're just finishing off here and i'm going to make this a nice big yellow wall so very bright colors i think it ends up being a bit too bright towards the end of the video in terms of all the colors i'm using but um they're easily changed and you can just replace the yellow with a different color um if you're in here decorating the the bedroom so these two bed bathrooms here <coughs> excuse me are uh, individual bathrooms so the other ones in the orange there were kind of um shared bathrooms probably younger kids that would share them i'm going to use some coal if you are interested in this texture pack you need to go on to use the blocks.engine.com the link in the description to that website so that's my website for the server <clears throat> and you can download the texture pack and it's updated every month on the beginning of the month so september the first uh, was the last time i updated the pack and it's a mixture of flows hd some lots of bricks by the esterlon community server fine server and quite a few changes by me and we're making um, a lot of changes so if you've got any suggestions for the changes to the texture pack you can you can send them in in the comments as well and you never know if it's a really good suggestion and it might make it way into what's the next month october october's texture pack so just building up these levels of wall abla has been telling me on on teamspeak when we were recording this look he's finished the garage doesn't it look smart and we can add some more detail onto the grass as well some more plants but there lots of lighting in the garage and some little shelves and so on I think this looks really decent and because this is a double skin wall double thickness we can actually cut out some detail and maybe put some workbenches and tool boxes and so on in there so that's looking mighty fine loving the garage thanks to abla for for help there really nice little shelves and so on which i am well chuffed about anyway lots of landscaping to do got to fill in the water but yeah we want to spend the rest of the video on this bedroom section here and the idea is to make kind of a, a wooden walkway running around the whole of the outside of the bedrooms like a little balcony above the water so you can come out your bedroom and kind of just chill out and look over on the view that is the idea we're going for a realistic as realistic as possible all right plenty of snow which i guess is just rendered um 
What is what, what, what white modern buildings? What are they made of? Kind of white painted stone or concrete or render? Hmm. Answers in the comments if you're a real architect. I certainly am not. Right. Um, more of this. This is birch wood in this texture pack. I should tell you what all these textures are, but that 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 particular wood is birch. Okay. And this is going to zoom all the way along here, just like that. Sometimes I use world edit. Sometimes I just get down and dirty and just start placing blocks. Spamming that mouse button as fast as I can. How many of you use World Edit? Let me know in the comments. It would be interesting to know how many of you build with a bit of World Edit. Maybe you've got World Edit for single player, and I don't know how that works. Or maybe you've got World Edit um, on a little server of your own as well. So, tough little job here. What I want to do is make a space which is big enough for a door and a window for all these bedrooms as well. I'm going to move this bed across like that. That's a good place for the bed, I think. What I can do is build these walls up one more block and then I can stack them. Time for another comment, I feel. Luca Massa or Andy, could you add some guitars hanging from the wall kind of pictures? That would be awesome. That is a nice idea for the texture pack. I think I've got another picture that I haven't... I've been changing the pictures you see in the texture pack, so I like that idea of getting a guitar picture and making it into one of the the pictures in, in, in the Minecraft texture pack and then we can hang guitars on the wall. So I'm loving that, so thank you very much for that suggestion. That's something which maybe you might need to remind me of towards the end of September to make sure I put it into the video. Okay, let's get these walls a little bit higher. There's the yellow one and the green needs to come up as well and then once I've gone one brick higher I can simply stack these up. And yeah, so we are getting there with this bedroom. And Abla, you can see, um, I'm not really showing too much of what he's doing, actually. I really should have spent a bit more time capturing what Abla's building, but I will show you in a few minutes. He's working on the walkway, I think. You can see he's put layers of snow, and here he's gonna put this carpet across to make kind of a shaded area. In fact, what I could do is fill this area here with the slabs that I've chosen. So we're going to go for spruce wood slabs and the code is 126 one. So slash slash fill 126 colon 150. And you can see I derped up. <laughs> Big time. The slabs leaked out. So I can undo that. Get rid of that. Thank goodness um, I can do that. Wouldn't want to do that by hand. But yeah, I need to just extend this a little bit and then block it off so the slabs don't leak out into a giant big 50 wide circle. So let me go back and do that and at the end of the video we can fit that water back in or fill that water back in to place. Here we go. Uh, okay, yeah, loving that so far. It's looking good. It's a nice little floor and what was I doing before I was doing the floor? I get distracted. I do all sorts of things. Um, but here we go. Uh, this wall here is sandstone. I'm just going to stack this up first of all. Not well, stack it one up, but yeah. But I think it's time for another comment. Wizan one, Andy, got any suggestions how to record with my iPhone? But it was too low. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean, buddy. That's kind of awkward. Yeah. So um, yeah, thanks for that comment, <coughs> Wizan. Anyway, moving swiftly on. That's a double. Uh, what, am I, what am I flicking my wrist at there? That was a. I think I'm talking about the bathrooms, but here's Abla, busy placing blocks. And what I'm going to do is go from there all the way to here. Then I realize I haven't got the sandstone selected, so and I haven't built this up, so it won't stack up properly. Um, I want to stack from that level so I don't stack the beds up. And that's pretty much why I'm stacking from that level, to be honest. So I'm going to expand, slash, slash, expand three. It expands the whole region three in the direction you're facing. Stack 5U means stack 5 up. And there we go. Insta walls. What do you think? What do you think? Here you can see Albert's working hard on the roof as well. And talking to roofs, we need slash slash set 80. 80 being the code for snow. And there is a roof. What do you think? We are making this build watertight. Now, I had an idea here to continue this compressed ice all the way along. And I think that looks, I think that looks pretty smart. I have to do this bit by hand, and I'll need to overlap that snow by one brick as well. 
So what do you think so far? Let me know. Come on, you gotta. If you have, if you're a kind of person who's never put a comment in one of my videos, today's the day. I want to know what you think and uh, give me some feedback. This build can grow with the help of you guys. For example, Jordan Comer, Andy is Momo. Momo is from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, that explains my intro. <laughs> Momo, The Last Airbender. I like that film. I loved that film, The Last Airbender. I thought that was awesome. Right, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Hopefully there'll be another one as well. Soon. Okay, I wonder how Abla is getting on. I'm just filling in this compressed ice here. Um, what do you think about that? Dividing up this giant window here. Did that make it look bad? I think it gives it a bit of structure, a bit of solidity as well. But there we go. Our bedrooms are taking shape. I think it's really good. Uh, Abla's put a little balcony and he's working these little details in as well around the whole build quite a bit of world edit because that's floating snow so you need to type in slash slash fast to make the snow float before you set it okay we're going to put some glass in here so a little bit of world edit select from that point all the way over to that point there and i'm going to do slash slash replace air with 160 which is panes of glass and then fifth colon 15 is the black panes of glass so there we go it isn't a pain to place when you got world edit right you need to carve out a door shape so simply doing a door just like that <coughs> that works there's a window and a door it works it works it works super simple but that is me super simple all over there we go another door and abla's going to put in um a little white stained pane right in the middle of the door and that kind of makes <coughs> a little handle I think. So we've got four bedrooms and four doors to do. Cool. I think the black stained glass is pretty smart. It kind of gives a bit of privacy into the build as well. And I'll put the handles on a little bit later on. But we do need to continue this um, detailing here. This is all about giving a little bit of depth and making sure the walls are not, are not too flat. A lot of people are applying to the server and they're making their walls a bit too flat and the pictures are sending us. Um, so if you've got a build, by the way, you see my little Twitter there. If you've got a build and you want me to comment on it, just take a picture of it. Send me it on Twitter at Andy Ajoda and I'll read to it your favorite and I'll, and I'll give a little comment on um, on what you've made in Minecraft. So you're a if you're a creative player, come on, we need to stick up for all the creative players. We're kind of a dying breed. We need to stick together and tweet each other's build as well. Kind of darken this uh, place as well. So we've got scope to put a little skylight and that looks beautiful, I think. It just lets a bit of light in. Did a little uh, showcase in the world of Corrales and I got an idea for putting those little windows above the door like that, all the way up to the ceiling, kind of three high. Um, this is the bathroom, shared bathroom in here and I think we need a skylight in this as well. So skylights probably tidy that up in the next episode okay just a couple of minutes left of this video <clears throat> we're just really trying to put in as much detail and finish things off as much as possible abla has been an absolutely amazing help so thank you abla you are absolutely brilliant one of the best builders on the server and one of the fastest to be promoted as well um so we're going to replace all the air with 78 as well which is a thin layer of snow what do you think about that detail? I don't know. I think it looks okay. Pretty pretty smart. A bit of interest. Something to catch the eye. Um, certainly. That bit's a little strange. Certainly in this corner I need to just fix that a little bit. But yeah, we are getting there. I don't know how many episodes this place is going to take. We've done all those bedrooms. We've got furnishing which are going to be done by other people. So I'll kind of show you that. Probably, hopefully, record them furnishing it as well. I think that would be pretty good um, as well. A uh, big shout out to my animator right now, Spudinator5, um, who's, who does all these little animations and he's got a really cool YouTube as well. So, link to his channel in the description as well. My animator, you can see his channel and all the animations he is doing. Very talented guy. So, thank you again to Spudinator. Good shout out for you in this video. I haven't done that for a while. Stacking those walls. Six down as well, and then we can get the we can get some of the water put back in at this stage. But yeah, thanks again to Abla, and that's probably pretty much going to do it 
for this episode. I'm gonna go slash slash fill or replace the air with water. And there we go. Awesome. Yeah, that'll do for this episode. Thank you so, so much for watching um, and for getting involved, you know? I really do appreciate it. If you could, hit that share button. I am super close to 20,000 subscribers as this video is going out. Maybe by the time you watch it, I've got to 20K, but I really hope I do make it. So we're waving goodbye from me and from Abla. It's been Modern Build, episode six. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you. Coming, 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 put your name on it.